Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we don't often talk about browsers on mobile device on the channel, but I thought this could be an exception because it's quite a big move that Microsoft is going to make. And just like the desktop browser where we get um, different support for extensions, um, Microsoft Edge for Android will soon support browser extensions because as many of you may know, um, currently Edge over on Android does not support extensions um, at the present moment. And that's also in line with most Chromium-based browsers, including Chrome, that also do not support browser extensions on your Android mobile device. And this all could be set to change because a new flag has been spotted over on Edge Canary 123, which is the same equivalent to Edge Canary 123 we would get on desktop, which is an early preview version. And we can see that it says Android extension, when enabled, users can enable the selected extensions on Edge Android, and that's available, as you can see, for the Android platform. And then if we head to the next screenshot supplied, here we can see that if you head to your menu in the bottom right-hand corner, and you click on that over and above your other options, you also now get a little button and um, shortcut for extensions. And if you click on that extensions uh, in your menu, yeah, you'll see that um, it obviously opens up the extensions that are currently available. Now, it's still early days, so there's quite a bit of work to do on this. But yeah, you can see you've got um, the extensions that they've rolled out so far are Dark Reader, which enables dark mode support for any website um, that you visit, obviously, in the Edge browser. Yeah, you've got uBlock Origin. I don't think this one needs too much announcement, but um, this is a content blocker, which is a very popular content blocker. And yeah, you've got Global Speed, which allows uh, you to control the playback speed of video and audio content. So those are the three that are available at this stage and are recommended. So obviously, it's still early days, so... Um, there's still a bit of work to do, but I'm sure that more will roll out as the feature becomes more stable and Microsoft further develops the actual feature. And yeah, you can see um, if you click on any of those, as an example, here we've got add uBlock Origin, and then you add that and you'll be able to um, use those extensions in the mobile browser. And the good news with uBlock Origin is, is that um, obviously if uh, you want to um, block ads, as an example, on YouTube, you can use that because one of the main reasons why the other Chromium-based web browsers, including Chrome, don't support extensions on mobile is because of using ad blockers. So obviously this could be a workaround um, if you obviously don't want to see too many ads while you are browsing online, as an example, on YouTube. But nonetheless, we don't, as mentioned, don't really talk too much about Android on the channel, but just wanted to let you know that currently in Edge Canary 123, Microsoft is testing adding extension support to the um, mobile browser and go check it out um, if you want to you can obviously download Edge Canary from the uh, Play Store just do a search for Edge Canary if you want to try it out and obviously um, I personally do think that this is there is a good chance that the extension support will make its way down to the stable version on Android I don't see why not but as mentioned still early days and extension support now available on mobile in Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.